Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to share this technique with you today. If you would like to see more techniques that I developed and you would like to support my channel, please head over to my Patreon. There is a link for it in the description down below. We are not really able to create a bigger than a 3x3 cable on a domestic knitting machine, but we can surely mock them up and make it seem like a big cable. And I will show you how to do that in this video. First one, it will be a mock up of a 6x6 cable. I will have two stitches in between the two sets of six stitches. Do a first transfer so we can bring the stitches closer to each other like so. Knit 2 rows. Now you have 12 stitches next to each other. Count from right to left 6 stitches and using a 2 prong transfer tool, pick up the 7th and the 8th stitch. Now transfer the 6 stitches you counted, 1 stitch to the left. Place the two stitches on your tool on top of the last two, just like so, and transfer one stitch to the right, the four stitches remaining on the left side. Knit two more rows. And then again. Count 6 stitches from the edge and pick up the 7th and the 8th stitch. Transfer the 6 stitches 1 stitch to the left. Place the two stitches you have on your toe bag, like so, and transfer the remaining two stitches to the right. Repeat this until you have six stitches left in total. Knit two rows in between every transfer. Now you have 6 stitches, transfer all of them 1 stitch to the left. Pick up the purl bar of the stitch from the river bed to form 2 new stitches like so. Knit two more rows. Count from left to right this time six stitches. Transfer all these six stitches one stitch to the left, then the remaining two stitches one stitch to the right.
Just as before, we will form two new stitches by grabbing the purl bar like so. Try and go as far as possible from the middle so you don't form a hole on the right side of your knitting when you form a new stitch. Continue increasing like this until you get back to having 6 stitches each side with 2 in between. Now you got back to where you began, so you can knit as many rows as you want and start transferring again. I would advise you would knit at least 6 rows so it looks like a nice cable. But that's just my opinion, you can try out and see what looks best for you. Using the exact same technique, you can create cables as big as you like. I will show you another example with 10 stitches each side. So I have now 20 stitches. I will count just like I did before with a 6x6 cable, but this time I will count 10 stitches from right to left and pick up with my tool the 11th and 12th stitch. You already know that these two stitches will go on top of the 9th and the 10th stitch, so you can just put them now at this point. Transfer the remaining stitches across and decrease just like we did before until you have 10 stitches left. Then again start increasing and form new stitches until you get back to having 10 stitches each side with 2 in between. Need 2 rows in between every transfer. The same exact technique would work with 4, 12, 14 or even 20 stitches. You just have to keep practicing and you can adjust it to however many stitches you like. I would keep having even numbers though because it's just easier to transfer.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this technique and you'll give it a try. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. My name is Elena and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!